Here we are in the park of the Garenne, covering 35 hectares, which in 1909 was the first listed site in Aquitaine. In the 16th century, only the occupiers of the chateau had access to it by a private bridge. True. Access to the park was very selective, as was the access to the ornamental gardens, situated just opposite on the other bank, with that elegant pavilion you can see and which you will reach later on. Thank you, little partridge. In the early 16th century, this area was used as woods and a hunting reserve. The term Garenne means warren in English, which in those days meant the Lord's special hunting ground. Henry's grandparents made it into the royal park of the chateau, surrounding it with walls, and then Henry and Margot widened the walkway used by their courtiers. Margot had the 3,000 footsteps paths laid out along the bays. This pathway, bordered by elms and oaks, was considered to be one of the finest in the kingdom at that time. There were also wild animals on show in cages, falcons, a bear, a wolf, a lioness, but also an aviary with pigeons from India and Poland, pheasants, cranes, herons, budgerigars, parrots and partridges. My ancestors were greatly admired. Following the medieval tradition, collections of plants, animals or works of art were the visible sign of the wealth and culture of their owner. A status symbol, in fact. The paths offered a flat and shaded terrain suitable for games such as Paul Mall, precursor of croquet or golf, or running at the ring where horsemen had to spear a ring hanging from the top of a pole. An opportunity for the gentlemen to shine before the ladies of the court. Love affairs might also be initiated along the steep path called Lover's Lane, all the early of size. <sighs> so it was a place for socializing and for showing off where the courtiers went to see and be seen. Do you know that a rural park had been occupied by aristocrats since antiquity? In 1832, archaeological excavations uncovered one of the most splendid Gallo-Roman villas in Aquitaine. We can still see the mosaics of a small pool of the baths of that villa. The rest has been covered up following the Crétin affair, huh? a local artist prosecuted for having made fakes and fooling the experts. That Cretin was really brilliant, with an amazing talent for sculpture and engraving. Better say he was a forger. All right, enough or I'll cook you in an Erac terrine, that delicious partridge pâté, baked in lard and garnished with truffles. But let's go back and follow in the footsteps of Henry and Margot to the Saint-Jean fountain. <laughs> 